Hey folks, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to go over background radiation. So let's get started. It says here that background radiation is radiation that is all around us and is caused by both natural and artificial, i.e. man-made, sources. So if we look at the pie charts here, we'll see the breakdown of natural and artificial sources. For natural sources, first of all, we have radon gas from the ground. You'll see that contributes about half of the overall background radiation. We have buildings and the ground, and that is because there are radioactive materials in soil, and soil can be used as a building material. And we have cosmic rays, which are rays from space, and we have food and drink. We then have a good chunk of our pie there that is artificial sources. So artificial sources are things like medical sources, like x-rays, nuclear power and weapons testing, and other sources. So let's break this down and look at the actual percentage contribution of each. So for natural sources, first of all, we have radon gas, which comes from radioactive rocks in the ground. And we saw that contributes 50% of overall background radiation. Buildings in the ground comes from radioactive soil and building materials. And this contributes about 10% to all background radiation. Cosmic rays is radiation that reaches the Earth from space. And this contributes about 12.5% of all background radiation. And lastly, food and drink, Plants absorb radioactive materials from the soil and these pass up the food chain. And this again contributes about 12.5% to the overall background radiation. So natural sources overall contribute about 85% of all background radiation. So the majority of sources are natural. And then we have artificial sources, which contributes about 15% overall. So as we saw earlier, this is composed of medical sources. So mostly caused by x-rays produced in hospitals. And this accounts for about 13% of all background radiation and nuclear power and weapons testing. So radioactive waste is produced from nuclear power stations and radiation is released into the atmosphere when bombs explode. So this contributes just over 1%. And then other sources, which are all other forms of man-made radiation, contributes less than 1%. So just to summarize this in a table, we have our sources of background radiation here and their percentage contribution. So we have radon gas from the ground contributes about 50%. Buildings and the ground contributes about 10%. Artificial sources, about 15%. Remember, that's made up of medical x-rays, for example, and nuclear power and weapons testing. Cosmic rays accounts for about 12.5%. And lastly, food and drink, again, about 12.5%. So it's a good idea for you to remember a few of these sources of background radiation and their percentage contribution. And just before we stop, I want to show you how you would actually measure background radiation. Well, it's quite simple to do. All you would do is take a geiger muller tube, connect it to a counter, and just start detecting radiation. So you would make sure there is no radioactive source present because we're not trying to measure the radioactivity of a source. We're just trying to get an idea of the amount of radiation you're being exposed to in the room itself due to natural and artificial sources. So all you would do is say start a timer and let's say I started my timer then you would start looking at the counts on the screen and you'll notice that the counts are not increasing at a constant rate it's actually a random process and that's because background radiation is random. So different places on earth will have different levels of background radiation for example in Aberdeen which is also known as Granite City a lot of its buildings are made from this type of material called granite which is thought to be more radioactive than other types of stone and and so on. So if you go to Aberdeen, you're likely to be exposed to higher levels of background radiation, but it's not going to be enough to affect your everyday life or really your health in any significant way. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.